of Sweet Arlene's here in Westlake Village, California. And today I have with me my executive pastry chef, Joya. Hi. Joya and I are here to show you how to make bride and groom cupcakes. Bride and groom cupcakes are great for weddings, anniversaries, maybe a new engagement you want to bring over to a friend, a little surprise. So very, very simple and fun to make at home. We start first with two cupcakes that are going to be iced with vanilla buttercream. Right here. All right. And let's start with the uh, let's start with the bride first. Excellent. So okay. you start off with a very thin piece of fondant. Um, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. You just want to always roll from the middle towards the edges. Once it's even, uh, about this thickness of a tortilla, um, you're going to get mm, a heart-shaped cookie cutter. Um, one that's going to take up about a uh, little more than half of the about cupcake. About a half of the cupcake. Cut the whole heart. And then you're going to discard this over there. Well, but it has a point at the end. What are we going to do for that point? With this point down here, you're going to get a circle cutter that's about the size of the cupcake you're working with. Um, there's all different size cupcakes. So make sure it's accurate. And then you're just going to, with the point on the end, just give it a little cut. Just get rid of that. Okay. And you have your bodice. Okay. Well, great. Well, I like little shimmery bodices and dresses on my wedding cupcakes. So can we add a little pearl essence to that? Absolutely. And that's a very popular trend using this um, pearl dust. Mm. You just apply it with a very basic brush. brush. Put it right on while it's in your hand. You don't want to do this on the cupcake because the dust will go Spread all over, yes. right? It's like edible makeup. <laughs> and you can get this edible dust at any craft store. Yeah, craft stores, online, anything like that. Now, since this is the bottom of my cupcake, I'm going to place it right on here, just like that. Oh, beautiful. So the top of the heart is actually forming the top of the bride's dress. Assuming this is a strapless dress, right, Julia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to dress up our bride a little bit further by finishing her with some pearls. And we're using these French sugar pearls. Julia's chosen pink as one of Julia's favorite colors. <laughs> I might choose white or silver. This is a modern bride here. Okay. She's not messing around. Now we're just going to drop these on one at a time, just in the shape of a necklace. Um, these cupcakes can be customizable, so let's just say you have a bride getting married in a colored dress. You know, you can bring in some of the details there. Um, if it's, you know, a really specific bodice type, you could do that. Also, if you don't have these little pearls, a small pastry bag with a little bit of colored icing or white icing, you could just pipe on a little necklace and any other details you want onto the dress. Okay. This is a very basic example. So our bride is ready. Where's the groom? Okay, let's get the <laughs> groom ready. That is the case, right? <laughs> so with our groom, we're gonna start with a either a chocolate fudge icing or a icing that's that's colored with black uh, with black coloring. Okay, so we want a very dark tuxedo light color, or actually you can choose any color tuxedo you'd like. We've chosen chocolate fudge here today. Go ahead and we'll start, we'll start with a big V in the middle of the cupcake. And once Julia gets the V done, she's going to fill in the, the bottom half of the V to create the tux. Oh, that's beautiful, Julia. Now, to avoid these little lines, you just get a little offset spatula, give it one little swipe. Swipe. Perfect. Like okay. Let's now dress, start to dress uh, our groom with our bow tie. You can use either the same fudge you just used, or in this case, Julia has some black dyed uh, buttercream. She's going to pipe on the bow, and then we're going to finish the tuxedo with those same French pearls. Maybe not pink, Julia, so let's maybe use white buttons for the tuxedo. Excellent. And again, as Julia mentioned before, you can either use your, your French sugar pearls for decorating or just use a piping bag with some colored icing will work just fine, very fine tip. So Julia and I thank you today for joining us on how to make bride and groom cupcakes. Thank you.